friends, parents, and classmates. Today, we, the graduating class of 1982, cross the threshold to maturity. After four hard years preparing for this moment, we meet the future head on. And what a future it is. Brimming with opportunity, overflowing with possibility. Time for our share of the American dream. I'd like to stop for a minute. Um, the job of a valedictorian is to inspire, to speak in upbeat, glowing terms about the future we face. But I can't do that. I'd like to tell the truth about how I view the future, and, and the truth is I'm scared. I don't feel secure about the future because to me it just doesn't look so terrific out there. Hey, wait a minute. Parents, teachers, don't just sit there. Say something. Tell her. Tell me what? That every generation has its turmoil? Yes, it does. That's easy for you to say. Your generation gave us the bomb. Our generation grew up with it. Oh, now, wait a minute, young lady. No, you wait a minute. You just wait a minute. This is my graduation. Who is he? Somebody. What's Who in a name? He? I'm an American. You're an American. Look, I'm not saying you don't have a point. You yet. bet I have a point. What other generation grew up in the fact that life on this planet could be over within a matter of minutes? And I'm not just talking about the nuclear war. I'm talking about the, the, the scientists that say that the life could be over because of the environment, because of water, or because of the earthquakes, or the polar ice caps are melting. You know, my mom talks about the civil rights and the Vietnam days, the protesters and the counter-protesters, and the whole country was boiling over inside. Everybody was taking sides. It was tough. It was painful, but it was exciting. Today, people are boiling up inside, and that's not exciting, that's scary. She doesn't understand. The only way to stop boiling on the inside is to do something on the outside. But what? Speak out, and don't just tell us how hurt you feel. Tell us what you expect from us. You have the freedom to make yourself heard. Use it. You make it sound easy, freedom and choice. It's hard. Yes, it is hard, because with freedom comes responsibility. The future doesn't just take care of itself, folks. Who do you think made this a better America? People who understood the future because they believed they mattered. If you want to change things, you've got to act. But how, how can we act? We don't matter. The only time people don't matter is when they stop believing they matter. Listen. Look, Betty. Well, if I could help you to understand that, that doing something will always make you feel better than doing nothing. I mean, it won't help a whole lot, but just a little, won't it? Yeah. Well, that's what mattering is, reaching out to each other, to the community, making our feelings known as individuals. But the problems are too big. I mean, what can one person do? Find another person, or two, or three, or 10,000, and start talking to one another, and then do something. You know, we're all a little sick of being preached to. Yeah, and I'm tired of doing the preaching. But what's the alternative? Should I sit on my concerns and let your, your fears overwhelm all of us? Or should I run the risk of being preachy and tell you what I believe? Because I sincerely believe that people do matter. Hell, it was only a handful of people that led the Boston Tea Party and another handful of people that sparked the whole civil rights movement. Look around you, read the paper. People are making a difference every day. People that believe that they matter are really doing something. Now, if that sounds preachy, so be it. But that's the way I see America. And if you don't see it that way, what are your alternatives? We can turn off. Which is exactly what we're doing. Your words. I think there's a whole lot more hope down deep inside you than you realize. It's only natural to fear the future, fear change. When I was a child, it all felt so comfortable. Family around that old kitchen table. The room that I knew smells I woke to guard all night by my windows on moonlight I knew every tree 
And each crack in the sidewalk, the name of each street, for a dozen armed blocks. I knew who to trust, when to walk to the bus, and numbers to call. If I felt only at all. slow to notice. The fear goes away. And little by little, the worries in till it becomes time. To change certainly left us with a lot to be grateful for. 
Now and then we forget our debt to the past, the 